even if we're in what the world would view as success because I did. There wasn't, <laughs> I say I learned to win at the game of life and I did. I was the straight A student and cut class all the time. I was the, you know, 4.0 student cutting class all the time. I was barely, barely using even a fraction of what God put me on this planet to be and yet most people would judge that as success. And I think that, um, you know, I, I built multi-million dollar homes. I had incomes that were well into seven figures. And, you know, I had what most would deem as big business success. No matter what company I worked for, I was always number one. I witnessed, um, you know, the competition, um, I witnessed how people didn't, you know, like I didn't fit in, you know, like masculine energies would be angry with me because I would, you know, become, you know, the little, I don't know what they call that when you're, you know, the new kid on the block, if you will. And all of a sudden I'm, you know, number one on their, the, the charts and, you know, and I get the prizes and, you know, people that had been there, veterans had been there for a long time, like, you know, they're throwing temper tantrums and it was, you know, and then. Then as I got more and more successful, management wanted to pull me in and have me teach, you know, how do I do that? And I'm like, I just, you know, I'd be honest. Like I'm not taking someone's money if it's not in their highest good. And so those were foreign principles, you know, they weren't the, the Dale Carnegie principles and forgive me, that's not, you know, I don't have a reference point because I don't think I ever did any of those courses, um, you know, achieving is built into our being. And the sad part about our current models is they suck that life force out of us. They take our gifts and then we are using them to seduce, you know, the branding or we're using them to, you know, sell the suture, the cardiovascular carotid endorectomy, you know, we're using it. We're using those gifts to actually perpetuate a system that's broken. And, um, you know, it, it, I, I moved around a lot and was able to see multiple fields and no matter where I went, that was easy for me. And I would say the greatest success that all of us can achieve is to begin to live from the core of what we're here for. Like when we say it doesn't, you know, I'm, I'm tired of chasing the American dream. I'm tired of chasing, um, you know, I don't know if you remember that song, you know, we've got songs, I want to be a billionaire, so freaking bad. And I, and the, you know, um, Eddie Money was, I love that, you know, I want a mansion on the hill. I want to burn thousand dollar bills. I want to be a rock and roll star, you know, like, so we have been conditioned into these mindsets that, that, you know, amassing these, these material things are somehow defining success when ultimately the true success is living from the deepest core of who we are and beginning to express those gifts into the world and to begin to be seen from the beauty of what we're bringing forth, not just what we can, you know, make, not just what we can, can, you know, pretend the world that we have. You know, I, I joke, I actually, I don't joke. I, I actually cringe at watching all of these uprising coaches with their oceanfront, you know, homes in the background telling you, you know, like, if you just hire me, you know, like you need a life coach, you need somebody to, you know, tell you to get out of the bed in the morning. No, you need to just plug into what God put you here for because wiring yourself into that, there's nothing that love won't stop. We've seen that time and time again, but if you're serving it, and you're doing it for somebody else and you know ultimately that it's they that are profiting off of your gifts, it's really hard to live all in there because if you've been around enough in the world, you realize you are simply an asset on that balance sheet and you are dispendable at any moment. And that is not success. Our models right now are not success. That, so to me, defining what we are here for and getting into, stepping into that, that's success. Don't compare me or what I've done in this world to anyone else, to yourself or anyone else. Success could be that you 
are raising a conscious child and that in the presence of that, that child will move forward in the world fully embodied as love. That's success. And yet we have discarded the actual core teachings of our indigenous on you know, what community looks like and how to bear children in the sacredness of, of real true community. You know, we think community now is out on the soccer fields. Like we've lost our way with defining what true success is. And I encourage each one of us, you know, you came here for a definitive purpose. And the faster you step into that, the first faster you move out of the world that actually cares more about profit than they do collaboration, competition versus cooperation. These are the principles that we are birthing for today. And that's the purity of what's going to redefine and rewrite our epic love story. That's the truth of who we are. And when you align your who to your do, watch out world, because nothing's gonna stop you. You get those wings and you recognize you came here to fly. You came here to actually soar and in many respects to be the way shower and to help others join you in your journey, in their journey, in our journey to create this new world. We all need to live all in right now to what we came here to be. That's going to be the recipe for the purest success on the planet. It's time. It's time to stand in that pure essence of what we're here for and drive it into the beautiful aspects of creation itself. That's making love. That's true success. It's time. I invite you. Be what you are here to be. Skip the do. Be the who.